Minor GM problem thread. The party starts collecting DM player characters against your will. That sounds like a Garbu problem. <laughs> but Garbu, it's your fault pitting in all the wifeies. <laughs> the party wants to redeem literally every bad guy in the universe and make them all friends. I kind of signed up with a big bad evil guy. Shit. <laughs> this is me. <laughs> this is you. The party is being too cautious and miss out on the cool rewards that I was going to give them. Like seriously guys, I'm not going to kill you with a trap after you defeated the boss. Just get your loot. I usually take this as a sign that I've made good background characters. Started happening with the vendor of a few magic items in a port city that they had a hard time robbing and had fun trying to work around their precautions against murder hobo tactics and habits. Ended up as their ship's quartermaster in a roundabout fashion of deceptions and eventually making him more money than the shop he was running would. Just put a cap on how many they can have active in the field and if it buffs out pretty easily. And the party has, at that point, given you several free options for how to feed in additional adventures and opportunities. Sailor they liked hanging out with because of their music is revealed to have a bounty on their head. Gets kidnapped by bounty hunters and the party better get him back before he gets to the gallows. Medic who they've hired because nobody wants to play Heelbot has been having prophetic visions of the place they're heading to. Ends up having a unique talent for curing disease in the area caused by the big bad evil guy. Setting her as their primary target and the party's role to get her to the source of the problem to end it alive. Oil bear they charmed and enchanted to be capable of dealing with people after freeing it from captivity during a fight with a demon inspired rendition. There's no full stops in this. <laughs> <laughs> Barnum and Bailey's presentation feels a longing for its ancestral home. And now there's only a full stop. Like, who can read that sentence in one breath? Tell me down below <laughs> if you can read that in one breath. <laughs> I, I hate to admit how long we've spent on this post. <laughs> you don't want to know how many times we've attempted this recording. <laughs> it's been ten minutes in and we're a minute and a half, boys. <laughs> Feeds into adventure expedition into the Lost World Plateau. Every minor problem is an opportunity. I love that concept. I, I really do. Like, you know, you never really know where you're going to go. Yeah. You know? That's what I really enjoy. You know, you should. Uh, that's what gets me. About you never know what way the players are going to play it. Yeah, that's. I think that's what gets me about Gilgood and DMs. Like you know, ones that are like really heavy into it. It's like no, stick you, to the script. You are not <laughs> doing this way because I haven't planned for it. It's like no, just go with it. Just you roll it. Sometimes it. you might get something that you might actually really enjoy. That yeah. might actually be better than what you got yeah. previously thought of. The party never offers any constructive criticism, not even privately. The party will not fight unless absolutely necessary. They start to worry if they'll survive and try to run or de-escalate before they're even at half health. At least they aren't murder hobos. Well, that sounds like the complete opposite of us, Megan. Yeah. Are we murder hobos? I love a good fight, me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, f I feel like any time I read this, it's like, it, it makes me feel even more. It's like, I am that guy, aren't I? No, you are. I've told you that before. Uh, I am that guy. At least I bring pencils. <laughs> <laughs> PCs are on a time-sensitive mission and need to get info on X in this bar. One says they look around and I give flavour text on various barflies and drunks. PC abandons main plot to commiserate with some elf who flunked out of his apprenticeship programmes. Rolls skill checks to write the kid a letter of recommendation. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> like, you, you sort that wee fellow out. Like, he needs a hand, you know? <laughs> God damn it. I never wanted Jonglu to have a name, voice, or to ever come up again. He was supposed to be set dressing. <laughs> <laughs> Like, you know, sometimes that's what people want, though. You know, people really want to in interact with the environment, and, like, it just happens, all right? My current irritation is a player who keeps whining. It's a game. It doesn't have to be hyper-realistic, by which he means he doesn't want actions to have consequences. We're not talking, oh, you got stabbed, so make fort save against infection, here. This particular incident involved him bombing a crime boss's headquarters. A crime boss the party is indebted to and works for. Now he's whining about said crime boss launching a manhunt for the bomber. And all the other characters saying that if they ever find out in character that it was him, they'll kill him for it. He thinks this is unfair and they should just let it slide because he's a PC. Apparently he thinks it's everyone else who's being unreasonable for opposing his act of terrorism, which left 15 people dead and 40 wounded. I mean, like, all I'm saying is, um, the Unabomber's manifesto <laughs> made a lot of sense, guys. Party literally surrenders the second things get tough. Party makes friends with totally crazy gangsters by basically joining them. 
Okay. What? I'm not that bad. Party does stupid shit like buy two dragon decks <laughs> grafted on themselves. <laughs> I don't say no to a lot unless it's literally bad shit like rape and murder random people in the street. But I'm starting to reconsider this rule. However, my dumbass can't do gritty and edgy well either. So I resort to comedy and now I'm basically running a Borderlands campaign without the meme references. <laughs> I feel like I suffer from that though as well. Yeah. I can't do realistic. It always devolves in porn acting for me. Yeah. Like that's what it feels like. Don't you I, have um, one of those bad dragon dildos in game? I do actually. No, that no, the problem. <laughs> no, yeah, I've got a wand of lightning bolts. So I do. Shaped like uh, a massive dragon deck. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I really love cool. how you're yeah. so proud of it. Although, that. although we we did, uh, you weren't there. It was the other day. Yeah. We did fight a black dragon. So for acid, I was going to get an acid cock. Till wouldn't give it to me. Sadly, <laughs> I, I don't think he wants me to have the <laughs> dragon deck. And I really want to make a collection of them at this point, but. <laughs> I think Teal's just sick of my shit. <laughs> like, if I be serious, like, yeah, I think he's just really, it's like, James, please stop that. Thing. <laughs> Am I that guy, guys? Yes, yeah. Okay. Hey, guys, this is just a quick bit of promo. We got our website up and running, and we have a massive restock on most of the models. However, one of the cool things about the website is if there's a model that you're waiting on, you can enter your email and be put on a waiting list. And it's not just good for you, so then you'll know when they're restocked. We can also see what you guys are waiting on and what we should be printing. <laughs> so either way, the models are f- by far the best way to support this channel and to help us do videos that YouTube would find inappropriate on the platform. <laughs> and like, let's be serious, the models are pretty based looking. So once again, just look at the titties. Look at the lizard titties. <laughs> but anyway, let's continue on with the video. Player literally lies if I forgot a roll to get the best outcome messages me during other players' games, revealing all the secrets he knows because he clearly reads ahead. Player demands I fudge rules. Player demands I fudge (laughs) rules because (laughs) luck is apparently not balanced. Oh, don't worry. Next game I'm going to fudge, all right. Look at that. Three crits against you in a row. (laughs) (laughs) Honestly, mate, he he actually asks our DM. It's like, can you please fudge rules? Can you fudge rules? Get away, you fuck. At least beg for, oh, can I get advantage on this for reasons? (laughs) You know what I mean? Like, can you at least do that? You know, bare (laughs) minimum? Jesus Christ. I'm having problems with one of my players. Can anyone tell me why he's doing this? I'll call him problem player. Autism. (laughs) That's your issue there, mate. I can tell you that now. (laughs) Using Lost Minds of Fandelver for some first-time players. Feel like some members of the party don't feel like they're useful. Offer them the chance to change their characters through a homebrew event. They agree, and we have an awesome moment where they get to see their backstories fleshed out a bit more and get some new abilities. All of them want to try out their new powers. Basically teleport them to the castle where they're going. They're blasting through it no problem and having fun. Eventually have to call it a night as it was getting late. Wait a week for the next session. All of them are super eager to continue their combat in the castle. Decide to pull the rug from under them and reveal they've been having a drug-fueled hallucination because the magic water they drank during the homebrew event. Reveal that they've been attacking random trees and each other the whole time. Problem player isn't happy about this and continues to attack the other party members. <laughs> 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 Private message him asking what he's doing. He just says, what? Why are you tricking us? And pouts in character and out of character. Decide to have a dryad talk to the druid in a language that problem player doesn't understand. Problem player gets told by the druid in his language to watch the fighter as she thinks something is wrong with him. Fighter was charmed. Fighter attempts to give his new weapon to the dryad. Problem player metagames and tries to stop him from giving the sword. Have to tell him no several times and let the fighter give the dryad the sword. Nothing happens to them when she gets it and lets them leave no problem. Drop them in front of the castle that they thought they were just at before. Problem player decides to call it a night and disconnects. Well, look, if I be honest with you... Look, if he's going to be huffy, let him be huffy. Let him be huffy, but like, let's be serious with you guys. No one likes a dream sequence. No. But they were having fun, though. Yeah. In it. So, you know, I think it was just they don't like the log being pulled out from underneath them. You know? And is it, that it, not the point? No, because it makes it like that 
whatever happened had no consequences whatsoever. You know, they weren't actually doing all that great. Like, you know, all the rules they were doing and everything that oh, they were doing. Wow. It never really had consequences. So that I can see where this guy's coming from, that he is upset about that. And judging because they are playing Lost Minds of Fandelver, and Lost Minds of Fandelver is a great mantra. It is I, a great I actually think it is a, it really is a good, great mantra. I think it's a good one to get people like, started. You know, started. It's a, it is I would, really I would good really recommend it. Although I'm already going to get all the comments like, oh, fuck the fifth edition, fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you guys don't even play games. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you, you get what I'm trying to say, guys. Run town building game with a meta dungeon accessible in the middle. Party refuses to go into it unless it's connected specifically to something they want to do. Complain about lack of direction and items. Inform them again of said mega dungeon. But that will lead us to the end of the game. Isn't that the point? Do random shit until end game. Level ranges from 14 to 18. Get sick of running and playing out a conclusion. Everyone hated it. Get shit on all the time. Fast forward five years. Hey, remember when you ran us that town building game? Yeah. Can you run it for us again? Oh, don't even. Are you fucking serious? Players don't know what they want. <laughs> I'd be like, no. <laughs> it is a bit weird because it looks like they were wanting to do like a like a dungeon crawler mixed with like a city builder. Yeah. It is, it is a bit of a weird one for a mashup. Yeah. My players can't stop splitting the party. On more than one occasion, I had to manage the session in five different parts where they just go around town doing jack shit in their own. That sounds like the old skeleton party and fuck it to the eye. That's exactly what five, I was thinking. For five fucking <laughs> sessions. Ignoring the main plot and have to come with new interpretations. NPCs or plot hooks to keep them entertained. This is my first time as a DM. Oh god, oh. and I'm all burned out. I've already killed one PC to make them more wary of going around alone, but they just keep doing it. How do I make them stop? <laughs> I used to DM for two parties. Basically went like this. Party A. Extremely experienced. Just stop and counter to make it last more than one round. Party emerges unscathed. Save for that guy who got hit, one lucky roll. Most of the party got bored. That guy outraged he's getting singled out. Nah. Party B. New and extremely dumb. Removes a third of the encounter to go easier on the players. Most of the party critically injured. Dumbest player dead. That was the best session so far. Thanks, GM. <laughs> Be sure to take home some leftover brownies. <laughs> I miss party me so much. <laughs> Aww. Look, look, look. I always say, I always say, especially when it comes to like you know people complaining. It's like, like you need to suck your DM's dick. Well, DM, maybe it's time for you to suck your player's dick. <laughs> Just saying. Teal, cover your ears. <laughs> <laughs> you too, Jonathan. <laughs> you too, Garbo. Artificer literally keeps inventing shit that makes him stronger than the rest of the PCs. And I have little reason to stop him from doing so. Help. <laughs> I really like Artificers. I really think a lot of the time the only limitations on them is a setting and your own imagination. My imagination. <laughs> do, do, do. Okay, fuck that. I'm not doing the song. <laughs> right, guys, I think we'll end it here. So, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It's good to be back after the Christmas break. You know, yeah. I, you know, you know the usual. Hit subscribe. Check out all the adverts. Models. Helps Models. Out, helps out a lot. We've got some good new stuff coming in very <laughs> soon. Very soon. Hit the bell notification as well so you get notified every time we post. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.